With 4 million sounds, what will you create? Take the free trial today. Hello everybody, welcome to another of our Superbooth Home Edition videos. We're crossing the country now, uh, we're staying in the UK and we're going over to Mr Ollie Burke from uh, Loop Cloud. How are you Ollie? Hi, oh, I'm very well thank you. Doing, doing not bad, not bad at all. Excellent, well I'm sorry you have to draw the curtains, I know it's a sunny day out there but uh, yeah. I, I, I mean you know we've seen you've come to the uh, to, to the office several times and shown us iterations of loop cloud now loop cloud seems to be steaming ahead are we up to sort of five point something where are we yeah we i think last time we talked about five we did a 5.1 release um i'm currently running a 5.2 beta um so we can have a look at the 5.1 things that we missed have a look at the few things that are going to be coming out soonish um, and we've also been working on uh, loopcloud.com sounds, which is moving the loop clouds into a uh, website. So people on iPads, iPhones, Android phones, anything, um, yeah, any uh, computer or mobile device can get a loop cloud experience. Um, and that will all sync to your loop cloud app as well. So we've been quite busy. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, uh, well I, I guess I'll let you take it away. Um, let's go. Yeah, let's start on the website actually. Um, so here is Loop Cloud, uh, sounds on loopcloud.com. I think it's going to be called that. Um, and I've logged in, and here is uh, something that looks fairly similar to the Loop Cloud front page. Um, and now I can search on my, on my computer or my iPad or whatever for, I don't know, house. So it's a fairly similar kind of uh, experience to the, it, or you're trying to make it as similar as possible. It, it's a cut down version. So there's, there's no multi-track or um, um, door integration. You know, when you're using your door and making music, use the Loop Cloud app because it's amazing. When you're away from your computer or if you're on a different computer and just want to browse some sounds, um, then you can go to uh, this website and have access to the uh, millions and millions, four million sounds uh, from Loop Masters um, uh, using the tag search. Um, and then you, um, you can buy and download from the website, or you can favorite um, and buy um, using your Loop Plus subscription points. Right, and, and so you, you, know, you can either download a sound directly wherever you are, or you can do whatever you want on the site, and then it will be synced. So when you get back to your computer, um, all those sounds that you favorited or bought are ready to go. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's got it's, it's a very similar interface. Yeah, we can preview files, add tag terms to our search. Um, and in addition, um, I've got access to my entire purchased Loop Masters and Loop Cloud history. And also, if I uh, use my uh, Loop Cloud storage as part of my Loop Cloud subscription, I've got access to all my files there. Right. I should just point uh, out, if anyone's saying, oh, it's a bit slow, uh, that's because we're using up all of the limited bandwidth that Ollie has at his home location. So it's obviously snappier than this in real life. But we're struggling, yeah, to, been, we're uh, struggling with the internet bandwidth in this scenario. So just bear that in mind. Yeah, yeah. I, I have, I have uh, vintage speed internet where I am. But yeah, so, here, are my, um, here are the files and folders that I've uploaded to my cloud storage. Here's, ah, there we go. Here's all the products and uh and samples that i've purchased previously right uh, okay if i just go back to the normal search term and search for guitar then here is i've got access to the entire shop um and my uh and my um, previous purchases right got you okay so i can buy it use two points to buy it and then i can download it directly or if i go to my loop cloud app where are we over here then in 20 seconds or so there should be a little downloading thing at the bottom and it will sync up perfectly excellent 
Excellent. Well, okay. So that's the the website. I mean, that's a big launch. When is that out now, or is that just currently oh, there we go. in? There we go. Um, uh, we are uh, days away. I cannot. I, I won't say how many days, but it's in the uh, in the in the region of days away from release. Okay. All right. Fantastic. <clears throat> so uh, presumably, there's the uh, plugin aspect because you introduced instruments and you introduced the ability to uh, import your own samples and have those analysed and you know auto tagged and auto tuned and auto keyed and all that stuff, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, so so yeah, let's kind of yeah, stepping back for those who don't know, Loop Cloud is a is no is a is a platform um, that combines uh, you know, the twenty years that Loop Masters have been uh, making samples and and um, creating a you know, a, a community of labels. Um, so twenty years of samples, four and a half million samples now. I think we add half a million samples every year through Loop Masters and our various labels um, across multiple genres, uh, from dance music to uh, Indian flute, from cinematic trailers to jazzy guitars, you know, pretty much everything. Um, so we take our, our, our library, plus anything that you've bought from Loop Masters, plus any of your own samples that you've added. Uh, so here are, here is my 260 gigabyte uh, sample folder that I added yesterday. Um, it will then tag all your samples using the same system that we tag all our samples. It's like an AI well. analytics sort of thing, isn't it? It just kind yeah, of so, yeah. So yeah, we've got the um, we've got the the analytics to tag samples with instruments, whether it's a loop or a one shot. Um, uh, but what we've actually been working on recently is a new feature called Sound attributes, name TBC, because we're still fairly early on. And here now we're adding the more musical, musically relevant. So instead of, is it a guitar or a vocal, now we can actually start to go, right, maybe I want to find something that's less than two seconds, i.e. a shortish sound. It should be... Ah, okay. It should be on the wide side of the stereo. I, I don't want something too mono. Um, and currently, currently in this beta version, because we haven't analysed the four million sounds yet, it's only working with stuff that I've manually imported in to my right. library. Um, so yeah, stage two is is doing the analysis on the full store content. So if I click on this little uh, computer sign, this means only things that are on my computer. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, so here we go. So now I've got things that are shorts that are generally stereo. Um, if I limit it to, let's say, loops, then I can choose a BPM. I can, let's just leave that open for the moment. I can go, let's go for things that are oh, more swag. Oh, right. Um, and let's go for things that have rhythmic density so rhythmic density maybe it's sparse like it hasn't got very much in or busy it's got lots in let's put something in the middle not too sparse not too busy so wow, now okay. I've done that hasn't included any instrument tag any genre it's just based on the attributes of the sounds um, so a short loop generally stereo slightly swung uh, but the most interesting one, the one that we've left for last, is this tone one. Uh, and this looks at the audio and goes, where is the majority of the frequency content? Um, and this is the best one for me. Yeah, you're making music and you want to find something that fills a space in the mix. So potentially if I put it all the way up to the top, we're going to go from, let's say, 2K up to 20K. So that's so really presumably want... going to be sort of hi hat, uh, high pass filter synths. Uh, exactly. So let's top find out. Got... Right. Swung, swung toppy, high happy loops. Um, so you you can start completely um, non instrument specific, um, and do this, or you could let's just clear everything. And maybe just go, let's say I want to go for a kick. Uh, and I want to see a short kick. And 
here it's very nice to find what I want just to find a really subby kick. So I'll take all the top out of this, uh, out of the tone. I think your length might be a bit short. It looked like it was. I oh, know. Oh, I know. Oh, there we go. I do beg your pardon. There we go. I did just import almost 300 gigabytes of content. To, so it's, it's looking it's a through bit, a yeah. lot of files. We should also point out, I don't know if we're going to have direct audio for this, but you'll have to take our word for it. That I mean, Loop Cloud and uh, Loop Master stuff sounds fine. So, you know, it's not going to sound like this in the final version. So is it, genera uh, yeah. is it generating a ton of metadata? I mean, there must be a whole load of metadata. Does it require a lot of additional storage, you know, for that? for all Because it's analyzing all of these things. And they're like, I, I guess it must be similar to uh, what, you know, like the, the analytic files you get in live or, you know, certain yeah, uh, well, well, video well, editors, well, we you know, you could generate sort of analyzing files or waveforms files and stuff like that yeah well, the way that you know, technically the way that ableton works is, is that it puts the analysis file next to the original file uh, and yeah. what we do is we create a big database so you've got a database that gets one single database file that, that contains all this information um so it gets it gets bigger yeah if you've added a terabyte of content your database file is going to be quite big most users, you know, it's going to be small, but it means that all the data is in that file, and the the way that Loop Cloud searches, it just goes into that file and finds stuff. Um, uh, uh, here's a question that's quite important. Then, if that's the case, can you back that file up, and how long does it take to analyze a lot of data? So I did 260 gigs yesterday, and it took two hours. Oh, that's quite quick for that uh, much. We have done a lot of work on this um, analysis and import stuff. It now takes a quarter of the time that it used to, and it's doing significantly more analysis than it used to. Right. So, so we've done a lot of work. We've got this feature, but the actual the technology behind yeah. and the, uh, yeah, the, the efficiency of the program has got so much better that it's, it's, it's a lot, a lot quicker. But okay, so what about backing it up? Because obviously you might add to that with your own manual additions. I mean, that, that would be uh, a, a smart idea, right? I would assume. Yeah, it, we, it, uh, it exists on your hard disk. It automatically creates backups of the database file. Um, and you know, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, to stick it somewhere else, there's a, you, know, you, you just go hold down Alt, go to more. Uh, sorry, hold down Alt, go to advanced. Uh, where is it? Show user library, and then you can back up that folder. And that's where. That's where it, that's where it all is. That's where the database is, not the not that's the, where the database is, yeah. Right. Okay. Um, just just while we're still here, um, you can see that we've got these. Uh, here are the statistics for the sounds. Um, so not only can you set the filters, I could also then organise my kicks by decay. Oh wow! So now I've got two thousand one hundred and seven kicks that are quite subby. Um, and then here are the shortest ones. Sorry, this decay isn't length. It's how quickly the, the sound yeah. decays, like a synthesizer. Um, wow. That's starting to get really, really powerful. I mean, I can see that that is... It, I mean, apart from the fact that you need to make some more choices in your life, Ollie, because you've got way too many sounds in there. I understand it's your profession and you've got to test, stress test these things. But for people who've got this much stuff, I mean, it seems like a kind of no brainer, even because you can you can get hold of you can get hold of this analysis stuff in the free version still. Or do you have to have a paid subscription? Uh, this, this is what we're currently working on. I think we're. We, we want people to experience it, um, but it's, um, you know, it, it's a very useful feature and it's probably going to be within the subscription or some of it will be. Uh, right, okay. That would make sense to maybe limit to the amount of stuff locally you could do if you're just using the free version. I mean, that's yeah, fair and, enough, and, and, you know, um, you know, As a subscriber, you get access to the store. Um, and at the moment, this is only working on, on stuff that I've manually added. Um, but you know the real, you know, the real benefit is is is, is you, know, you you can make a very specific filtered search, um, and if you've added a few gigabytes of your own sounds, maybe it's in there. But that it, you will then be able to look at the four million sounds. Right. Um, so you know, hopefully, whatever you're searching for, if you know, with, with these filters, there'll be something either in your library or available to buy through the. Wow. Through the okay. 
And this this is, uh, I'd like to say, this is a, a beta, sort of look at the beta, right? So have yeah. you got, uh, you haven't said when. I mean, I asked you about the, when the website was going to be up. What about the actual, um, the 5.2? Have you got a kind of roadmap for that? Or I mean, I guess things are a bit up in the air at the moment, obviously. But. They're a bit up in the air. Um, we are, we have, we've got a Facebook uh, beta group. Um, I'll give you the link at the end of this and we can share, share it out. Um, so, so yeah, we're, 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 we, we've got a Facebook beta group. So if, if you join the Facebook beta group, we add you to the beta download list and you can experience it now. Um, and actually this is, at this time, we're, we're looking to get, you know, to get our users to, to give us feedback and, and tell us what they like and what they don't like and help us develop this feature so it becomes absolutely amazing. Um, and so, yeah, depending on user feedback and depending on the right. technological hurdle that we're working on and analyzing four and a half million sounds on the server, um, soonish, <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably, you know, low number of months, maybe, you know, as opposed to anything in the, in the region of days. Um, but it's really exciting and it's completely changed. Um, again, you know, Luke kind of changed the way I made music when it came out in terms of access to the samples and, you know, this is a, another level in terms of creativity and, and, and you know, finding yeah, happy. Yeah, no, that looks great. I mean, obviously, I would point people to, uh, we've done Loop Cloud uh, uh, videos with Ollie here with a kind of, you know, in the in the same room. And I would check those out for the just the, the basics of the stuff. And we haven't really got time to go through all of that at the moment. But these are the sort of new features and the exciting new stuff that's coming your way soon. Yes. Wow, well that's great, Ollie. Thank you very much for showing us. I, I, I mean, I, I think we've probably covered everything. And uh, um, yeah, yeah. I, I suppose, I suppose, uh, yeah, we didn't have a look at the plugin. Yeah, you know, if 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 anyone's got Luke at the moment, they should have, um, they should have. You know, this this was a, this the the five point one was an update, I think, two or three months ago. Um, make sure you check out Drum and Play. We've included a full um, synth editor. Um, so before it, we just had this easy view, so it was more of a kind of players. Um, view where you, we exposed a few useful controls. Now we've got this full edit view um, where you've got multiple effects, multiple filters, uh, sampling things like uh, you know uh, time stretch, lo-fi, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Loop Cloud Drum, we have added audio export. This was a big feature request. So I can just render the audio and drag it into my project. I can render MIDI, drag that into my project, and I can do little sample exports. And you can do uh, audio input. So I can browse Loop Cloud. Oh, let's just let you go back to this kick search, pick up a kick, and drag and drop it into, into oh, Loop Cloud Drop. Neat. Uh, so yeah, these these are these have got better, and um, we're working more on Loop Cloud Drum and Loop Cloud Play at the moment as well. But um, I think I'll save that for the next time. Ollie, thank you very much. I uh, hope you're uh, able to stay safe and entertained where you are, and we look forward to seeing you in person again uh, in the not too distant future. That would be amazing. One more thing. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> one more thing. Uh, Beatport producer challenge. Um, if people are making music, which I would hope they are at the moment, um, there we are partnered with Beatport and. Isotope and Road and Cloud and Lambda. And there's a big old prize fund. Um, so, yeah, check it out. Um, okay, brilliant. I'll send you some links and I'm sure we can share them with everyone. Coming, so. Yeah, excellent. Right. Well, Ollie, thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you again very soon. Love to see you. Bye bye.